Samsung has some form of G-Sync compatibility. I've shown this off and I'm gonna show it off again. So if you look right here, you can see monitor technology type is G-Sync compatible. Now I'm gonna zoom in with my phone here so you can see that, G-Sync compatible. Now I know what you must be thinking, LG is G-Sync compatible and Nvidia didn't validate the display. That doesn't matter. You are still able to use non-validated displays with NVIDIA G-Sync technology. So if we go into our control panel over here to set up G-Sync, we can see that the top tab is how you would activate that. If you cannot get G-Sync compatibility, you will not have the ability to enable G-Sync slash G-Sync compatibility. Now, the difference between G-Sync and G-Sync compatible and this is very important for LG owners out there that think that they have a G-Sync TV, is that a G-Sync television is going to have the physical module from an NVIDIA G-Sync device built into the TV or the display itself, where a G-Sync compatible device has to go through a bunch of rigorous tests to make sure that there is no flickering or picture dropouts. That's the difference. It's a watered down version of the real thing. You can go check out NVIDIA's absolute breakdown on that to see what you're missing out on, but essentially that's the deal. Now, the second display that you're seeing here is Samsung, uh, or rather the second uh, thing that you're seeing checked off is Samsung. It recognized my display, so it knows what I'm doing. I didn't have to input any of that information. It did it automatically. Now, the third and final thing right here is display specific settings. Now, as you see, there is something checked off right here that says the selected display is not validated as G-Sync compatible. What this means is if you check this final box, you will run into flickering and screen dropouts. However, if you leave it unchecked, you will have a watered down version of G-Sync compatibility. That is why I do it this way, because even though it's not perfect, it's a PC and it's highly customizable and you can get the results that you're looking for. So that's why when we go under the monitor technology, you can see G-Sync compatible because it is compatible to some extent. It is not fully supported. It is not validated support, but you do have G-Sync on Samsung TVs. Now where Samsung's take a bit of the edge, unlike LG with their G-Sync claims, you have actual dedicated AMD support with FreeSync technology particularly the G-Sync, or rather the FreeSync 1 and 2, which is called FreeSync Basic and Ultimate. That is AMD specific. This means that you are future-proofed for next generation consoles. Now, I also know a lot of people have been saying, well, Quantum, show me your settings. Show me you playing a game. So the next thing I'm going to show you is me in-game, and there aren't any flickering issues. So here we are in Pirate Warriors 4. I'm just going to show you. There's no cutout here at all. I'm going to go into free log. There's no judder as we go through the various menus. Let's say I want to go into Whole Cake Island. I want to uh, select this particular battle. I can scroll through the menu. You see it's responsive. There is absolutely no cutout to speak of. Now we're going to go and pick Luffy as the main character. Maybe I can adjust his costume. Maybe I want his Wano costume, maybe I don't. But you guys get the idea. So I select the Wano costume, and here we go. I'm gonna move my mouse out of the way here. As you guys see, it's loading up. It's doing everything it's supposed to do. I'm gonna be playing one-handed, so I'm going to be absolute trash, but you guys get the idea. The idea is just showing you that, again, the gameplay is smooth. Things are loading fast. I'm gonna try to lock onto them so I don't mess everything up. Trying to do this one-handed is such a challenge, but I'm playing the game. Clearly playing the game, no issues, and this is FreeSync support, or rather G-Sync support on Samsung, and it looks really nice. Again, it's not 100% supported, as I've said, but it's more than enough for most people, trust me. And that's the thing that a lot of people aren't considering when they try to claim that Samsung is kind of behind the curve and this isn't even justifying a purchase this is just like raw information that I understand working on these TVs literally all day so now we're gonna go 
turn around. I'm trying to do this with one hand, so it is really difficult. Now, I'm gonna pause the game. As you guys are clearly seeing, I'm rocking and rolling, right? This isn't about gameplay, it's about showing you facts. So we're gonna go here and open up the NVIDIA control panel where you see Samsung is still enabled and you do see that it still has the device recognized. Now, when we go into our Manage 3D settings, right? You can still see, even though I'm in game, whoops, I got all this stuff pulled up here. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. You can still see that we have uh, uh, monitor technology right here, uh, G-Sync compatible, because again, it is doing some form of G-Sync compatibility where when you turn G-Sync off, it does not have that listed. So you can experiment with that on your own. I know there are some people that are very confused as to how, they, how to get this up and running, but I have a video on it. I've shown this and you go back in the game and you are just running straight up G-Sync compatibility with your NVIDIA graphics card, courtesy of the game ready drivers. So again, it's just understanding the technology. So just wanted to put this information out there for those that think that Samsung doesn't have G-Sync and it's only LG. That is very false. As you guys see, I've yet to have a picture dropout. And uh, that's due in part because I did not enable the uh, last part, which is the display specific settings. Because once you enable the display specific settings, that's basically saying you have a validated G-Sync monitor and you want it to register and act like a validated display. So you have to put it into a mode where it's going to act like a non-validated display, and then you'll get the G-Sync compatibility that you're looking for. As you see here, I'm running around, ooh, I want that one. And then you, uh, you just run around and you just do your whole thing. And as you see, the gameplay is very smooth. There's nothing wrong at all. So I wanna thank you guys for watching the number one brand in honesty. And until the next video, I'll be playing One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 with G-Sync compatibility.